time for our next bout. Please welcome to the red corner from Woking, Surrey, Tom Field. Tom Field! And now please welcome to the black corner from Birmingham, Killer Kane Rigglesford! And this C-Class Muay Thai rules bout will take place in the minus 63 kilogram division over five one and a half minute rounds. Introducing to you firstly, fighting out of the red corner, representing Woking Thai Boxing in Woking, Surrey, it's Tom Field. And across the ring, fighting out of the black corner, representing K-Star Legacy Gym in Birmingham, it's Killer Kane Rigglesford. Well, no guessing who's the hometown fighter in this one. The man with the great Damien trainer in his corner there, just removing his T-shirt. Final preparations for the man from K-Star Legacy just down the road. Kane, the killer, Rigglesford. This one at 63 Round kilos. C-class bout. Muay Thai rules. Five, one and a half minute rounds. And Dave, for the uninitiated watching at home, just talk us through the class divisions and the restrictions that come with them. So looking at C-Class, no knees or elbows to the head, but all other Muay Thai weapons are hand boxing, knees to the body, and kicks of course. So plenty of tools to, to be used. So really we're looking at two young men here going through the rites of passage, learning their trade as they, as they progress and yep. restricting those skill sets for their safety, I suppose. Certainly. And you can see both guys looking well versed in the clinch there. Mm -hmm. Seen Tom Field progress over recent years. His clinch is getting really good now. Lovely catch and kick back there from Field. Kane uh, Rigglesford just looks the, slightly the bigger man to me. Thicker, thicker set a little bit. 
Doesn't seem to... I don't know if he's not kicking the power just because it's early in the fight. But part of the scoring is you want to be kicking hard and show power. There's Tom's kicks uh, for me, a little bit more powerful there. But as we, we know, Dave, the, the round's kind of a little later down the line, three, four, and five, uh, the kind of important ones on the judges' scorecard. So perhaps the, as you say, kind of conservation of energy is, is reflecting with that, and maybe we'll see the, uh, the ante up as this one progresses. Yeah, certainly. Uh, I'm a big fan of doing C-class boats over five, one and a half as well. Just gets you used to the, the pace, and of course, the scoring system in Muay Thai is such that it's, it's a, a marathon, not a sprint. So later rounds are really important. You don't want to go all out crazy in the first. Of course, some of our fans watching on, on Box Nation will be used to that kind of 10-point must system where round 12 is as important as round one, but different weight given to rounds four and five. Why do you think that is? How's that, how that kind of come to pass? And how does that then affect the, the pace of the contest that we'll see a little bit later on? Partially from the betting, but it's, uh, it's deemed that the, the, the guys in Thailand don't really warm up that much. They just get a massage, they go in, and rounds one and two are your warm up. Round two. Rounds three, you start picking up the pace and scoring hard, and then four is very important, and then five, you're just protecting your win, really. And already we can see that the pace of round two has started quicker than at any point in round one as Rigglesford comes forward. Very true. He's been on the front foot throughout the contest, although Field has landed some nice shots on the back foot. And yeah, some nice work there from, from Field. And when we talk about the clinch, they we talk about dominance in the clinch. When they next go in, talk us through what we're looking for and how the judges will be scoring them as they come together. Certainly. It's about off-balancing your opponent. It's about making them vulnerable and taking advantage. Nice right hand over the top there and followed up from Field with the low kick. Just took the legs away of Rigglesfoot, who returns fire. See Field step forward and knee in that position there. He's doing well though to make his opponent miss and then chop on the leg. Like you say, Kane on the front foot the whole time. He's taking the centre of the ring. And again, it shows, shows strength to do that. Put your, put your opponent in the position you want them. Field working a little more with the hands, but... Uh, the value of those body kicks again when we're talking about judging day to set things up for our audience this is Muay Thai after all those body kicks and shots to the body that show effect a little bit more highly scored than some of the punches if they're deemed to be ineffectual right and, and that's exactly it as you said it's about effect um, the, obviously the hands are covered in gloves uh, so you might not necessarily think they're going to show as much effect but if boxing is very strong and it's showing good effect then that will score really high generally a body kick will score very high to, if it's clean across the body because it's a shin bone being thrown at your opponent with velocity <laughs> and uh, it's going to hurt this is where it'll get interesting I see Damien Trainer there passing advice on the right of the screen to Rigglesworth. And it's kind of uh, just a legend status that Trainer has gained over the years. Round Came three. back for a, a swan song at the O2 uh, a few months ago. It was end of last year, in fact. And now fully into his kind of role as coach. Yeah, certainly. Damien Trainer's trilogy, I think it was, with... Uh, Andy Housen was superb, I loved it. As a fight fan, big fan of trainer. And he's a, he's a great coach. He's been doing some stuff over in the States and of course at Legacy, um, K-Star Legacy now. They're very tip to tap these two. Lovely work there from Field, just making his opponent miss and then taking his time to set up that beautifully landed body kick. And 
in the clinch they go. Yeah, that's good in the clinch where uh, Tom Phil just working around the side to take the back and lead into the kidney. It's a good score. Pretty evenly matched these two. Yeah, I was going to say that. We, we've had nice shiny bits for each one. Nice teeth there from Field. As Kane came forward, just teeping him. Field needs to kick more again. That's nice work in the clinch there. Me in the back and then turning, getting him into a good position. Needs to turn him off the ropes. Another competitive round between these two, warming up very nicely indeed. Yeah, very much so. And as you mentioned, Tom Field, uh, an experienced corner pairing for Tom Field as well, Dave. Certainly, there are a number of years in that corner of experience. Mick Murphy, absolute legend in Muay Thai in UK, he's done so much. I own a lot personally, lots of people do. Um, still running there, working tight. And yeah, of course his son, Chris in the corner. And then on your screen is uh, Kane Rigglesford, who's had a good couple of rounds as well. Looking calm and focused, deep breaths of air. Corners, 10 seconds. Good bonus. Really 63, I like the weight group as well. It's, it's fast, it's furious, but it's still we've got a bit of power at that weight too. They exchange hands at the start of round three, and then Rigglesford goes downstairs with a low kick, then body kick. Good start from him. Yeah, Rigglesford kicking much better now in this lane. He's Just found his timing, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nearly hit a high kick there though. Field needs to get back on. Look, there it is again. He's seen the opening. Nice right hand from Field. Rigglesford took it well. Back he comes there with that low kick again. Nice little step back there. I would have liked to see that left body kick counter. Some good work from both guys, actually. Lovely fight. Lovely one two landing there right on the button. Again, Phil just near round to the back. I might see him work his way around the back a little bit more when he gets that position because for me, Kane Riddlesford turns himself to the side. He's just opening that up and the field capitalised on that and took the back completely. It's a, a, a really good score. Good body kick. Well, as we saw in the first round, a nice catch encounter. It's time for him, Riddlesford. Working hard in the clinch, not giving Field any space to manoeuvre himself, but he's already in the red corner, ready to take his breather. Yeah, that was a hard round there. Need to get his breath back. Well, the rounds go by quickly, don't they? And of course, as we know, the higher up the weight, uh, higher up the, the categories they go, the longer the rounds become. And it's an altogether different sort of pacing again, isn't it? But there's still an element of furiousness in this, because a minute and a half, these guys are super fit. So it is. A minute and a half going full on and getting knee and kicked and taking punishment as well, of course, slows you down. It's not easy in there. So the big main event up a little bit later Ooh, on. Dan Edwards defending his Muay Thai Grand Prix world title at 79 and a half kilos against Andrea Rizzi from Milan. That one will be, of course, over the full distance, five threes. And right here, we're in a fight between well, these two. Kane Rigglesford in the black corner, Tom Field in the red. Really entertaining first three rounds. We've Two to go here in Birmingham. Riggles has started well, aggressive, coming forwards. That's been the pattern of the contest in terms of ring position, certainly. Yeah, Kane doing really well there. Uh, 
putting it to his opponent. Kicking well again in this round at the start. Tom coming back more, but looking for that high kick a little bit too much now. Needs to get back to basics, block and counter, like he was doing before. At the moment for me, it's Riddlesford lands one, Tom Field lands one, and Riddlesford answers there, finishes it. Which is a key, key thing. Riddlesford just trying to impose himself now, isn't he? As he did at the end of the third round. There's a very big difference in the clinch now from Tom Field. He's stopped me and back, and he's just holding on, getting his breath. And Riddlesford can feel he's doing damage. Knee, knee, knee in the clinch until the ref breaks you. This is really good work from Rigglesford, just starting perhaps to swing the tide in his favour of what's really been a fight balanced on a knife edge up until this point. The hands from feel, but they're not enough to deter Rigglesford. Comes forward again, misses the low kick, just seconds to go in round number four. Yeah, Tom Fields waiting too long, saying, oh, that was a beautiful kick by Tom, uh, by Kane uh, Rigglesford there at the end. That left body kick just moved Field uh, to the side as he landed that kick clean on the body. Can't help but feel that um, that was a strong finish from the black corner. But what a great bout between these two. Excellent bout, all smiles at the end, and nice that the sportsmanship we see so often in Muay Thai present in this one really really good contest and, well we talk about the c-class learning for both of these it certainly would have been a learning experience for them both and we'll find out who's been victorious in just a few moments time our master of ceremony peter lope will be standing by shortly with the official announcement Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for both these men after five hard-fought rounds. And at the end of those five completed rounds of action, your ringside judges have reached a unanimous decision. All in favour of your winner fighting out of the black corner, it's Killer Kane Rigglesford!